All right, what's going on, folks? Earthmaster here, jumping in uh, September 5th, 2020, 8 p.m. straight up Saturday night here on the West Coast here in California. Got a lot of earthquake activity to talk about here, including the 6.3 quake struck down there in the Chile region just a short time ago, South America. This activity taking place well south of the area of activity that we've seen over the past week or so. That earthquake activity was further north, about 100 miles or so. Um, the screen looks kind of weird. Yes, it does, because I had some weird, interesting development here. Let me get my right screen on here. Uh, my computer pretty much shut down on my last update here, which was not good. So I'm not for sure what happened, but uh, we'll go ahead and get through this update video regardless. Uh, there is the 6.3 that struck a short time ago there in the South America region. 30 kilometers below the surface and as I mentioned this activity sits south of the uh, earthquake activity that we've seen over the past week or so. That uh, was much further north there following that 6.8 and all the mini aftershocks there that it produced over the week about 100 miles or so uh, from this current 6.3 quake there in the Chile area much closer to the region of the it seems like every time I say this my computer shuts down much closer to the region of the 1960 uh, world's most powerful earthquake there, the 9.4 to 9.6 magnitude quake there uh, that struck back in the 60s there. So much further south, kind of inching towards that region there. Not saying there's going to be a major quake, but this uh, subduction area of the Peru-Chile Trench region uh, is no stranger to mega quake. So it's something to watch, something we're definitely keeping an eye on for sure. Shooting up here to North America area. We uh, need to bring back the 2.5 map here to see this activity in Southern California. 3.8 struck there uh, just after, just after that 6.3 there in South America near Santa, hmm, Santa Yenzi? Yenis? I'm not for sure. I should have looked that up when I was down here for a couple minutes, but you guys get it. Uh, right around the Santa Barbara area on this specific fault of Santa Yenzi. Yenis. Oh my gosh. Uh, and that specific fault there, not a whole lot of earthquake uh, data on that specific fault. You can see that right there, that red line and the pop up there indicating the area, or at least closest to the area where this 3.8 struck there. A few folks reported filling it uh, 11 kilometers below the surface. The activity that I could find on this specific fault is from the Southern California Earthquake Data Center. The Caltech website, California Institute of Technology. It is the Santa Yenzi Fault, left reverse type faulting. Uh, looks like about 130 kilometers long or so. And these are the cities nearby communities of that fault system there. Not a whole lot of uh, earthquake activity to report. Uncertain uh, in that matter. Probable magnitudes at least 6.5 to 7.5 on the magnitude scale there. And of course, the intervals between major ruptures um, is very uncertain just due to the fact that there's not a whole lot of earthquake activity um, that has been monitored in this region here. Um, historical data on this quake, or at least within the vicinity there, right, shows quite a bit of earthquake activity in Southern Cal, but nothing specific uh, within this region here of the Santa Eid in it. Oh, never mind. I'm going to attempt to produce it. I need to work on my pronunciations there a little bit better before I do the update videos, I believe. But you guys get it. There's definitely been some earthquake activity in the region. Uh, nothing really specific there, at least on this historical map scale. But uh, definitely worth watching here as uh, it's kind of a large quake, you know, for the region. Or I'd say maybe a moderate quake, okay? It's not necessarily a large quake. But it is down here in the major plate boundary region of the San Andreas Fault. The North American plate over here. And the Pacific plate that sits where this 3.8 struck there. Uh, there's definitely been more earthquake activity than that 3.8 in Southern California. you got to go down to the micro scale level to see the activity in and around uh, the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate over here towards the Ridgecrest area. But this one here kind of sticking out like a sore thumb, just odd. We haven't really seen too much earthquake activity in this region. So definitely worth noting 
the uh, the out of placeness, I guess, of this earthquake here. And once again, this quake striking uh, shortly after that 6.3 that struck down there in the uh, in the South America Chile region there, uh, shooting up here to the north. Not a whole lot of earthquake activity. Relatively quiet as uh, far as aftershock activity goes in Idaho and the um, Yellowstone area. Kind of like to go back to the 2.5 so we can see quakes that are relevant when it comes to movement along any specific plates out here. Microquakes, yes, uh, they can be relevant if we get enough of them. And that's uh, something we definitely keep an eye on as well. There was a borderline 5.9 quake over here in the Indonesia Islands area well before 6.3 and the 3.8 struck. Uh, but that's about it. We're seeing activity over here on the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire relatively quiet again while movement along the west coast and areas over here are very active. So kind of a bounce back and forth, forth teeter-tot um, activity going on there and that's something I've noticed for quite a while there. Uh, some activity down here South Costa Rica or at least right around the area that uh, brings this subject up here the in this on this day in history uh, back in 2012 September 5th 2012 the Costa Rica earthquake pretty large one a 7.6 earthquake there in Costa Rica now once again this was back in 2012 you can see that blue circle there this is a uh, activity from 2012 current to uh, the current date 6.0 and above there and that uh, definitely did quite a bit of damage there not for sure on the fatalities of it but definitely created a significant uh, um, significant uh, day of terror I guess in that region uh, you can see significant population area was expo exposed as well a little bit of the plate tectonic summary over here talks about the thrust faulting uh, near the subduction zone between the Cocos and the Caribbean plates. Uh, there's been quite a bit of earthquake activity there. Uh, looks like over the past 40 years or so, 30 M, M 6 plus magnitude earthquakes struck. Uh, two of these were larger than M7. So, And you guys could see that on that map right there. That's obvious. It's a hot spot of activity there, that 7.6 uh, in that region there. And that uh, will no doubt be an area of some large earthquakes in the future. Uh, looks like, uh, what do we got there? That one was 1973. I don't believe there was any fatalities with this one here, uh, but definitely did quite a bit of shaking as uh, it, it noted here on this shake map here. Some very strong shaking. And um, let's go over here to the uh, intensity real quick. You guys can see that. Pretty strong out there, no doubt. Uh, and that's for the 7.6 earthquake that struck there back in 2000. 12 there uh, looks like casualties okay according to the Wikipedia about uh, two of them I remember when this earthquake struck there I'm not for sure if I did an update video on that or not but uh, it was definitely uh, quite active for some time looks like over 1600 aftershocks occurred following the five days there um, and once again this is a very active area for earthquakes and uh, no doubt it will be in the future. So this is kind of a segment I'm going to be including here on the uh, update video for the channel. We will be discussing and looking at some various maps of uh, earthquakes that took place on this day back in history. And I could choose any, you know, anyone throughout the globe. Uh, just decided on the Costa Rica one there. A lot of folks there on this channel. Uh, live down within that region. I do get quite a few comments and whatnot from those folks and I'm sure they remember that 7.6 earthquake down there back in 2012 uh, very vividly so uh, no doubt a very active area. So um, Yellowstone real quick just jump in there and cover that uh, for the third time tonight. Not a whole lot of activity folks. This is an area that we like to watch as always but uh, for the most part looks like one little quake there right here happened uh, prior uh, yesterday I, I think it's getting ready to drop off that scale and hold on one second here what do we got here ooh what do we got there a another earthquake on the earthquake 3d globe stand by for one second here folks Okay, 
Yeah, it looks like... Uh, what are, wow, that's pretty crazy. A 6.5 just struck out there. I just mentioned about how quiet it was uh, out there in the Venutu area. <clears throat> Stand by for one second here. I've been talking a lot, and uh, I need to grab a drink of water real quick. There's that 6.5. Uh, I guess I'll shoot over here to this other map so we can look at that. Just pretty active, folks. I mean, uh, good lord. And I will be redoing the uh, stream view there in just a minute. Like I said, my com whole computer just reset when I was doing a prior update video. Not for sure what was going on, but uh, I'm going to find, uh, find out what's going on there for sure. Go ahead and refresh that. There we go. There's that 6.5 that struck just a short time ago. Looks like 0, 0.259, so about 10 minutes or so, uh, that 6.5 struck. I don't believe there's going to be any tsunami. This thing wasn't, uh, well, it's actually pretty shallow, about 6 miles or so below the surface. We'll go ahead and check this out here real quick. There is a little statement here, but... Uh, there's that 6.5. Based on all available data, there is no tsunami threat from this earthquake here. Uh, but there's no doubt when big ones happen out there, we do see tsunamis um, pop up there. But for the most part, looks like we're looking uh, looks like we're looking good, folks. As far as tsunami goes here, no tsunami threat. And uh, looks like that's going to be the last the last um, statement from those folks there but wow I mean it's just talking about how quiet it is and uh, sure enough that thing pops right up there thanks for those folks there that uh, let me know that holy moly it's pretty crazy so anyway gonna be working on the stream here um, and of course the on this day in history earthquake activity uh, will be part of a nightly thing with my update videos and we'll, all, we'll also cover, uh, it's going to be a little bit more detailed tomorrow, I think. Uh, find some more maps and possibly some images and whatnot uh, that will, of course, not be graphic at all. It'll just be, uh, um, maybe just show some of the damage. I don't want to get in too much uh, damage when it comes to earthquake activity out there. But uh, anyway, that'll be part of the uh, update videos from now on here pending we don't get a major earthquake out here on the west coast and it shuts me down so i'm going to be fixing this stream up here folks and uh we'll chat at you guys a little bit later please stay safe out there and uh we'll talk at you guys a little bit later